Well, I'm at a sail hub today. We're at Southampton Boat Show, and we're going to cover five things that you need to know about about sailing in general. Today, the first one we've got is from Elstrom Sales. We got Tom here who's going to tell you about something pretty cool. Good to see you, mate. Good to see you, Chris. How are you going? I'm all right, mate. What are you going to show us? Um, so, what I've got to show you today is the uh, XRP cloth that we have. Um, we've been developing over the last few years. Um, yeah. We brought it to the market a couple of years ago. What um, is it? And the primary selling point on this is that it is indeed a 100% recycled cloth. A recycled sale. And get this, it works. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, so we're really, really happy about the. Um, we've done a lot of uh, destructive and accelerated wear testing on the, uh, yeah. on the product. Um, and we're really happy about the way that it's coming out. Um, we're showing really, really good shape stability compared to our industry co competitors. Yeah. Um, and we're showing really, really good longevity. So when, um, when you say compared to your industry competitors, you actually mean down to the materials that are commonly used as other laminates, right? Yeah. So um, this is uh, primarily this product comes in a polyester laminate. We're putting a lot of work into developing um, other options, but this is where we've got to at the moment. Um, and we are generally um, we're comparing it to what's what's been going on in the industry so far. Okay. So um, generally what we're talking about there is a, a fabric called DCX by a company called Dimension Polyant. Right, so basically what Tom's saying there is the stuff that you would buy if you wanted a laminate sale is not performing as well as a recycled sale. Yeah. Is that not crazy? I think, I think it's, a, it's a really cool selling point. Um, the fantastic point of it is that you're enhancing performance and because we're going to those recycled materials, we're actually coming in, coming in at a cheaper price point than the... Uh, than the alternate than the virgin material alternatives that's absolutely crazy it's costing you less and you're getting more absolutely stunning so tom thanks very much man we'll definitely check absolute you guys pleasure. out instagram and where else we find you um you can find us at www.elstromsales.com okay um and yeah on we're on instagram at elstrom sales and facebook at elstrom sales legend thanks mate no worries Okay, so the second thing you didn't know about is this. It's not an outboard holder or anything like that. It's not the four to one purchase. It's this block here from Barton, the Skylock. Really cool system. We just pull it and the dinghy goes up. We let go and it's like that. And to lower it down, we just pull it like a Venetian blind and it goes down. So it's just basically a self arrester. What is cool is if we drop it, it's okay. Even though it gives you a bit of a fright because you think it's gonna fall. Dead simple, up down kind of the answer to everyone's davit problems really really cool really straightforward nice simple innovation a self-arrester for an outboard okay so next up we've got the revolve from sea view progress these guys are super innovative fantastic company definitely worth a look at what they're distributing and working with this is pretty special to me you probably no idea what it is i had no idea what it is but check this out This thing is a boat hook. Just unfolds like that, and then this thing pops in the end. And that's it. Dead easy. It's a straightforward boat hook. But what's really cool about it is it floats up to this little yellow line that bobs around in the water. And yeah, really, really cool. Just a straightforward hook. You can get a brush attachment for it. They've actually got stuff to put cameras on it nowadays as well. So you can have cameras and fishing nets they're working on as well. So cool for kayakers, anyone with a dinghy. So yeah, anyone who's got a yacht which is a bit small or something like that, I think it's really cool for those guys. But the main thing that we can do with this, for me anyway, is we could put this into a boat as a spare. Because, you know, we do lose these things over the side sometimes. And where are you going to keep another, I don't know, six foot pole? On top of that, we just take it apart. She comes apart super easy. And you just roll her up, stick her in the boat. So maybe, you know, we've all lost a few of these over the years boat hooks and stuff, not a cool thing. What are you gonna do if you lose one? Roll this bad boy up. And it stores in the boat when you're done. I think it's super, super cool. British design, British company as well. Wow. Not a bad thing to have on the boat. Okay, so we're now here with Mercury on their stand and we've got something which I think is a real hot topic at the moment and is of course an electric motor. This is a 7.5 we've got Ben here who's going to tell us all about it. Good to see you Ben. Hi, how you doing? I'm all right, you. Yeah. So yeah, as you say, this is the new version of uh, electric engines for Mercury. Uh, the Avatar, um, as you say, going green and renewable engines is a hot topic. Uh, I think it really topic. is. And you're one of the first sort of mainstream yeah, manufacturers to actually jump onto the electric thing and I think that's pretty cool. You've got a whole heap of them. Yep. This one really interests me. Yeah. 
So this is perfect really for tenders. Uh, it's really, although it's concealed in one unit, uh, Mercury have been really uh, concentrated making it user friendly. So there's an Ooh. internal battery that sits in here, which That's can be removed. battery housing. Um, so that can be removed. So when you're lifting the boat, uh, lifting the engine on and off the side of the boat onto a tender, you can remove a fair bit of the weight. The other advantage is you can have two batteries and charge that up. Um, so this really is the first uh, electric for Mercury. Um, they're now wanting very much see themselves as a propulsion uh, provider. So typically Mercury has been known for uh, combustion engines and now moving quite quickly into the electric uh, market. Cool, so what have we got going on here? Is it a twist throttle? Wow! So twist throttle, so exactly the same as a, a typical outboard engine. Yeah. Uh, we've got a display here with uh, battery uh, usage. It looks a bit swish, doesn't it? It does. It's very, they've done a great job. You can see it in the um, bright sunlight, just really bright screen. Nice. And regarding props, are they interchangeable or is it just one fixed prop? That's how it props is. Props are interchangeable. There's three, uh, oh, right, cool. three sizes. So depending on the boat uh, and the weight, you can change that prop. Um, but these engines are much more about torque and getting the boat going. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they've done a really good job. Good stuff. Well, Ben, thank you very good. much. Thank you very much. Okay, so thank if you. you want to see more about this, go check out the Mercury website. All the specs are obviously on there and we'll drop that link in the description below. Cheers, mate. Great, thank you. See you next time, mate. Okay, so the last thing that you don't know about in the marine world, Nev is going to tell us about Nev's some marine hygiene and he's got something really cool for your head. It might not sound that fervent or that important, but these guys have a whole bunch of stuff and it is. What you got? So what we've got is we're trying to educate the boating public to try and reduce the amount of chemicals going into the seas and rivers. So what we've got is got this wonderful little tablet here, yeah. little sachet. PVA surround. Not PVC, as he told me before. Definitely not PVC. We don't do double glazing cells here. <laughs> so PVA solution, drop that into your head, it releases bacteria. The yep. bacteria are like adolescent boys. They eat everything. The good thing about it is what they eat is they eat all this horrible stuff yeah. that's in your pipe. Okay. Cleans your pipe, make sure that your toilet doesn't smell. And then the most important thing is if you flush out into the seas and rivers, bacteria doesn't pollute the seas and rivers. There we go. We don't like chemicals. So it's actually like a live thing in there. Well, it becomes a live creature, which is eating yes. basically our, uh, <clears throat> that stuff. Eat the, <clears throat> definitely. And it goes into the sea and it's safe. Definitely safe. No more need for that toilet blue anymore. Fishes love it. Don't do backstroke around the boat. <laughs> All right, so thanks very much, guys. Please do like and subscribe. That keeps us taking along nicely. Keeps us going to shows like this. We'll see you next time. Cheers, Jeff.